welcome back to my second Christmas gift guide, this time Christmas gift guide for him and as I did last year I have got Charlie with me in the video um, and this year Charlie chose all of these gifts actually didn't you darling? Yeah it was actually pretty difficult narrowing it down to just 10. To yeah I gave Charlie a maximum of 10 because mm. you wanted to include about 500 didn't you? Well it's difficult because I've got <laughs> ideas for everyone. But and of course this year Charlie's vlogging so you've been uh, you've had your eyes open to a lot more Mm. gifts this year haven't you? A lot more brands and new, new products and stuff. So we have a big selection of uh, gift ideas for him whether that's a father or a brother or a boyfriend or any man in your life ranging from grooming. Or a uh, dog. We've got some, we or don't a dog. actually. No, we, don't. We, don't. we should do a dog gift guide. I, I said that we should. De Dexter could have could have cho chosen the gifts. We could have laid them all out on the floor. Oh, what do you think Rooney? <laughs> we could have laid them all out on the floor and then whichever ones he went to could have been his choices. That could have been a fun game. Leave a comment down below if you reckon we should do that in Vlogmas. Also, do you like our Christmas jumpers? They're so cute! I feel like mine's better if I stand up like that. Yeah, mine's it's quite, it's, Mine's quite alpine. I think Dexter's is the best. And so, where should we start, darling? You've got so much stuff. Let's go with grooming product to start with. Okay, shall we? yeah. What's first? Okay, so we have this. So it's Philips Series 7000. Series 7000. Sounds like a supercar. Yeah, so... <laughs> I mean, I I sort of have been testing out a lot of different shavers this year. Mm -hmm. um, Perks of being a blogger. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's difficult because I ha I'm still sort of like deciding on what I actually want. But in terms of like an overall shaver, this is a really good product. It's designed with like uh, sensitive skin in mind. Okay. So obviously, when you shave, certainly when you wet shave, which I do very rarely, you can um, get real irritation and red mm -hmm. marks, which mm -hmm. is really frustrating. Mm -hmm. This gives you quite a clean shave. Mm -hmm but it doesn't create the redness and the irritation that you would associate with most shaving tools. It says it's got an anti-friction microbe coating on the comfort rings. That's a lot of words. Sounds snazzy. But I think, I think the other nice thing as well is it's got like a, a, I don't know if you can see this, it's a bit shiny, but like an additional, <laughs> an additional tool which you can like trim your sideburns and, and potentially just give yourself a trim yeah. if you're not going for a full shave look. That's nice because I prefer you to have a little bit of length, like yeah. not completely clean shaven. Yeah, 100%. And I mean, I think the other thing that's nice about this is you could use it in the shirts. It's wet. I think, um, yeah, it's waterproof. Hmm. So I think most of them are waterproof these days, aren't they? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I've never really shaved in the shower. I think mm. the mirror, I'm not as comfortable not doing it in the mirror. Yeah. But, but it's a nice gift and... I think it's yeah. It's always nice to get something for someone that's a little bit high tech. Yeah, this one is um, fairly high end as far as shavers go. I think this one is around the two hundred and fifty pound mark. So mm. I think it's probably good for someone that you know maybe has suffered from sensitivity with shaving. Perhaps I mean I know a lot of you guys are mums, so perhaps if you've got like a son or even a nephew um, that has problems with like redness, then this would be a really good idea for them. Bit of an investment, but maybe it's not something that the guy would necessarily want to splash out on for himself, so a really thoughtful present and something that I mean, you it's actually great for your boy, use. great for your boyfriend. Yeah. I'd say. Yeah. If you're feeling spendy on your boyfriend, then this is a good one. So, on the lines of grooming, we have addressed shaving, post-shaving or pre-shaving. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> good start. Um, so, I've, this is actually a little gift set from Kiehl's. Now, Kiehl's are quite nice, they do have gift sets on their site that are already sort of pre-chosen products. But what's quite nice if you have a store near you is to go into the store and just hand pick a few products yeah. that you think would suit whoever you're buying for. Oh, you can do that? Yeah, so I hand pick these products with my dad in mind. Aww. So, and then they give you a little wash bag to take them away with. So Your I'd, dad would use that a lot for flying as well. Yeah, so, clear so I mean, I'd give you a really quick rundown. This one's an oil eliminator sort of exfoliating face wash. Mm -hmm. So it, it, to be honest, it could be used every day. If you've read my blog, you know I love exfoliating a bit too much. Um, so that's a nice product. My favourite product from Kiehl's, which is their face fuel range, um, which is this, this is their moisturiser within the face fuel range. It's just a really nice everyday moisturiser. And this one has SPF in, which I'm going to be writing about a little bit next year because I think it's quite a big thing. Mm -hmm. SPF, needing to, needing to protect our skin against the sunlight, mm -hmm. even in very rainy England. So, mm -hmm. and Still then. UVA. Yeah, exactly. A few more products. I don't know what my dad's gonna feel about like this, about this, but What's I that? love eye creams. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, this Midnight is Recovery. Midnight Recovery eye yeah. cream, which I actually needed this morning because Dexter was barking all <gasps> oh night at God, a fox outside. So late. It was like having a baby, wasn't it? A newborn. 
I felt like we were newborn yeah. parents. Like I had to come down about three times at like 3 a.m. Yeah. Oh so God. that's a nice product and something a bit new for maybe a dad or your boyfriend. Mm -hmm. um, and finally, cilantro and orange. So obviously that's coriander, isn't it? Cool. Um, I've not tried this before, so that's why I bought it. Pollutant defending mask, that mm. sounds good. Which is another product that, to be honest, my dad wouldn't probably normally use face masks. Um, Can't so, no, I know, but I think we all, like, once again, like, power to the guys. We all need to start using face masks more. Like, I don't know why the, gir why the girls should have all the fun. Um, You've always used my face masks. Yeah, well, I had face masks before I met you, didn't yeah. I? The, uh, the boot, I think it was a boot. Nothing wrong on. with caring for your skin. Oh, and finally, this is actually the product that's probably most perfect for dads, um, is an age defender power serum. So it's their age defender range, which I actually really like. I guess you can start using age defender even when you're a bit younger, right? Mm -hmm. No, not you, but oh. me. <laughs> so yeah, so that's just a really nice gift set. But as I say, you can just design it yourself. Mm, that's a really good idea. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. Following on again, sort of male grooming, this is one of my new fa new favourite fragrances mm -hmm. of 2016. So it's John Paul Gaultier. John Paul Gaultier's packaging is always epic, yeah. right? It's in like a can tin. Um, and actually, <laughs> this is their new Le Mail one. Le if Mille. I can get it open. Oh wow, and that's yeah, really cool. So they've revamped the bottle. Um, I don't know if you can see, Shep, but it, don't worry, it's a little bit more crystally. Um, it's, a, it's a really sleek bottle design, I love yeah. bottle design, and as you'll smell, it's, Ooh, it's, it's a little bit, really do you know, I think it's a little bit more, I don't know mm. what's the word, more advanced than their, their normal one. Yeah. Um, like I would wear that on a night out. A bit more grown up. Yeah, grown up. I didn't want to use that term, but you've used it. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely a little bit more grown up, a little yeah. bit more mature. Yeah, for sure. Um, so that's... And it looks really cool as well. It's nice that you kind of like have to pull this thing off and then it, it, so it won't spray all over your bag. Yeah, I mean, they've always had those clips, but this one's a little bit harder to lose, which mm. is good. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a fragrance, I mean, fragrance is always a good gift at Christmas. Yeah. Everyone needs fragrances. Mm -hmm. And to be honest... Just don't buy them on eBay. Why? Too many fakes. Yeah, definitely. Def to be honest, like, I think... Nowadays, with online, you've got to be careful with fragrances. Yeah. I would actually, I love going into like the perfume shop mm. and actually looking at I them. Mean, and like a website is fine, but on eBay you can get like what you want. But part of the fun of Christmas shopping is doing it, mm -hmm. actually purchasing an item and taking it away. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that's a really nice one. So the next gift idea is a brand that I've only really started um, wearing recently, mm -hmm. and I'm actually wearing actually I'm wearing one now. Uh, Rotary watches. Um, which is a really nice brand, Swiss made, but I, I don't know if I should say this, but they're really good value for Swiss made. Yeah. Which is nice because normally Swiss made watches are, uh, are crazy expensive. So yeah, that's really I cool. guess Josie will do a close up, but this one in particular, and I think we'll have to probably put a link because I don't know what it's called, mm -hmm. um, is just a really nice design. So like it also quite looks thin. like it's very flat to the skin. Yeah, and it's got a, uh, oh, cheeky. Um, it's got it's got quite a nice sort of dark leather strap. That's very sleek. But quite thin, yeah. so it, it, it's really nice with a shirt. I feel like that's good for all ages. Like that's the kind of watch that you would give to maybe like I don't know a brother or a mm. son or someone, and they would use it forever because it's so timeless. Yeah, I think well that's the point. You could wear it with a cardigan or a jumper or even just a t-shirt yeah. or a shirt, and it wouldn't look out of place. Yeah. So for, to be honest, as a as a watch for a grandchild. A, Nephew, you know, someone that's even a bit younger, it mm -hmm. would be, it would be quite good. Yeah. Little boy. So yeah, I think, I think it's definitely worth having a proper look on Rotary's website. And I think, if I'm right in saying, there are like jewelers like H Samuels, um, mm -hmm. actually stop Rotary watches. So just go and have a look. So next is something a bit different, and you might, you guys might think, why is he banging on about swim shorts? It's freezing cold outside. Well, everyone goes on like sort of early New Year holidays, right? Or people, not everyone, not everyone yeah. but I, it's the time of year that people are booking holidays anyway. Yeah. So these are a pair of swim shorts from a brand that I love, Leo Joseph. Yeah, they're so um, nice. If they have the coolest patterns. They, they do. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see there are some really nice pic, pics of the actual shorts, like some detailed ones. Yeah. They come in a bag, which is perfect. So if you're on the beach and the shorts are wet and you want to get changed, you just chuck them in the bag. Mm -hmm. That's a winner. Isn't uh, Leo Joseph South African? Is he? No. Oh. And this is the pattern of this particular pair. What I is mean, it? 
So it's flamingos, flamingos yeah. It's really cute. So as I say, check my Instagram out because we've got some really good shots in these. But um, <laughs> shameless promotion, <laughs> shameless, shameless like self promotion. Guys, just head over, head over to my blog, my Instagram. Oh my Don't God. worry about Josie's YouTube. Don't worry. And Dexter's <laughs> promo Dexter. Very good. And I like to kiss you, Daddy. Oh, he has his leg falling out. <laughs> Hey, sausage. I'm only a baby. Look at that yeah. silly smile. And, and yeah, the detail on these is really nice. And I think they retail at about 55, 60 pounds, which so is, I mean, it's still higher end, but they yeah. are luxury, they are good quality, but it's significantly cheaper than like a Vilba Quinn or uh, Oliver oh. Brown, which are just madness. Um, and yeah, it's my go-to swim shorts. So perfect. And it's nice that not everyone's heard of them either. Exactly. Yeah. No one wants, you know, no one wants to turn up you know, to a pool party or like go on holiday with their mates and be ending up wearing the same pair. Yeah. Um, and they have lots of choice on the website. But I think this is a great gift, I think, for my dad. Because they, my dad go, you know, as you get older, you go on more holidays. Mm -hmm. um, and I just think, I think it is a nice, something a bit different yeah. from the normal present. Also I, great for also a brother. Also for a girlfriend, I think that's a really good thing to get a boyfriend. It's yes. It's really cool swimming trunks. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Because guys may not necessarily know where to go for cool swimming trunks, but girls watching this, now you know. So we've also chosen this backpack from Forbes and Lewis. It's absolutely ginormous. Um, I felt like this would be a really good one for a blogger boyfriend in particular because you can carry oh. so much stuff in here. Change your clothes, camera equipment. About 16 you Olympus pen batteries. <laughs> and lenses. <laughs> Um, and I really like the colour combination of this, so it's kind of like a mushroomy brown and then you've got the browny leather and I feel like male backpacks are quite hard to get that mix between being looking really good and mm. being practical at the same time. It's got the thick strap so it should be well, really comfortable it's, on your shoulders. It's, it's sort of smart enough that you wouldn't feel bad, you know, I don't know, it, it's a smart rucksack yeah. but it's casual enough that you could you could even use it as a gym bag but to be honest it's too nice for that. Yeah, but I uh, love the leather on this. I feel like once you've worn this quite a lot and it gets a bit battered it's just going to get even nicer. Mm. I mean, we're off to Gothenburg actually, aren't we? And this is going to be perfect. Yes. I'm, I, as I say, I'm actually keeping this, I'm Huge. not giving it to anyone. And it's actually got a laptop sleeve pocket as well, so really good if you maybe like even a school bag, that'd be really cool for that. Cycling, I mean, you know, a lot of people cycle to work. Really roomy. Could be great for that. Nice leather handle. And I forgot to mention, but everything that we're talking about in this gift guide will, of course, be linked down below in the description box. So for any further information, prices, etc., check out the links down below. But yeah, this one is. Forbes and Lewis backpack. <laughs> so gift idea number eight, number mm -hmm. eight, is, um, is, is, is you've got to have something alcoholic in this gift guide, right? So this, I mean, I love gin. A lot of people love gin. I, I think the last few years, gin's just taken off. Mm. So this is actually Rock Rose Premium Scottish Gin. Now, I actually came across this because they won a taste, uh, taste award, is it? Mm -hmm. Great Taste 2016. Um, so and it's made in Scotland, which is quite nice. Um, that it's British. I mean, a lot of gins are British. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I just think it's a really nice gift for maybe. I mean, they're not. It's not expensive. So it's a nice gift for like an uncle, a grandparent. Grandparent. Um, grandpa. Should I say that again? I'm struggling with it. <laughs> no, I don't know what's wrong with me today. <laughs> and it's quite cool packaging as well. It looks quite like it's a nice thing to receive. It's not just like a boring average gin bottle that's just you know what you could pick up in Sainsbury's. No. It's a little bit different, a little bit more special. I thought you were gonna hit me in there. But <laughs> <I'm> just, like <laughs> bash. Sorry, darling. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, just like a slightly more premium gin, a little bit nicer than the usual uh, alcoholic beverage to give someone special at Christmas. Okay, um, so those are all sort of quite big presents, mm -hmm. I would say. Yeah. And I thought, I wanted to do a whole stocking filler guide, but I don't think you guys would want to listen to me for that long. So I just chose two products that I thought would be great for stocking fillers, whether it be boyfriend, I don't know if you do a stocking. We do stockings for each other, but Josie mm -hmm. never figures out what uh, like presents small enough to fit in the stocking I like so I have like an empty stocking and then a huge present which I can't I'm complain playing. but I'd rather have stocking okay darling only small gifts yeah. Yours, yeah um so one is a candle now it's interesting like I had my brother over yesterday and he won't mind me saying this but he yeah he's not very open-minded to like new things like that <laughs> but he's suddenly become obsessed with candles I think guys are more yeah like guys are more Opening up to Opening that, up that something. Yeah. So Legna London is the brand, and these are actually made specifically for men. No way! Yeah, so I'll get it out. It smells really good. 
Oh wow! Wow, it's, that's I mean, really manly. And, and it's very masculine design. I mean, quite, mm. and it's quite a contemporary design. Port on wisdom. This one's called, mm. and I'm really looking forward to actually lighting this. Yeah. Because that smells amazing. So when we are at home in the evenings, Charlie always gets cosy foot envy when I've got my lovely cosy slippers on. So we found this pair of slippers from the White Company. I feel like the White Company is just go-to shop when it comes to like being cosy at I, home. I would, I could happily spend my whole month's salary in the White <laughs> Company. Me too. They like have so bed, many nice bedding, things. Bedding, slippers. Yeah, dressing gowns. But we've chosen these slippers. They are a navy pair of slippers. They're £40, so again, fairly luxurious as far as slippers go, but still not extortionately expensive for a Christmas gift for him. And I think the design is just really easy to like. They're just navy, very simple, but then they're this beautiful, really soft material that you would expect from the White Company. And I, I like the fact that they're slip-on as well. Yeah. Like, I, I'm not a big fan of slippers that you actually have to put on like a shoe because mm -hmm. it's inconvenient. You know, if you're running outside to sounds really boring. Oh my god! Like <laughs> take the bin out or like chase Dexter <laughs> if he's run after the postman, which he sometimes does. Um, you just want to slip them off and yeah. stick your trainers on. So I think they're uh, they're really good. And finally, stocking filler, and this is a TV program that Josie hates, but I absolutely love. Oh no! My, probably my favourite program of 2016. Not people just people do just do nothing. No. Yeah. Oh my so, god. So I don't know if, if anyone watching this would have seen this, oh or maybe they've watched god. their boyfriends watching it or and cracking up. Banned your boyfriend from watching. Yeah, it. it's an amazing show. I mean, it's been on for a couple of years. This is three series. You're right, Dexter. Dexter's a big fan as well. No, he's not. Um, but yeah, this is a box set, three series, I think there's something like 12 episodes. It's just a great stocking this filler. Is it's about G. £10. Yeah, Chipotle G, aka the Mayor of Armsville. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but no, guaranteed laughs. I guarantee any boyfriend would be happy to receive this. Or brother. Oh, the Alan Partridge movie, that'd be another good one. Yeah, but that's a bit old. No, that's The Office bit... movie. Mm, the Office movie wasn't as good as I thought. That's why so. this beat The Office movie in terms of oh. DVDs. I think the other one that I didn't have uh, with me here is The Night Manager, which was actually yeah. out, I think that came out this year, mm -hmm. I think, and that for a dad... That's a good dad gift. Yeah. That's a great dad gift. I mean, a lot of people watched it. Yeah. But both were on the BBC, which, uh, you know, clap, clap, big clap to the BBC for actually... Big clap. Big, big <laughs> handshake. <laughs> um, oh my God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, just a really good stocking filler and hopefully something that will be a nice surprise. Wonderful. So that's all of our gifts for our 2016 gift guide for him. I hope you guys found this interesting. Are you going to do more on your blog? Um, so I am doing, so th when this goes live, my blog post will probably be live. Okay. I'm doing a gift guide for him, which will be about 8 to 10 products, which a lot of them are different to this because I've got so many ideas and so many things that I really like this year. And then I'm doing a gift guide for her as well. So if there are guys watching, or if there are girls watching, to be honest, that would like to learn more about gifts for her, then check out the vlog. <laughs> Man about town. No, I'm joking. Don't, don't include that. Oh bit. <laughs> Such a dog. And Dexter will be doing a gift guide um, for any for any dogs years. watching, um, primarily Dachshunds, because he doesn't really like any other dogs. Oh, a baby. Oh, I love him. Oh, it's a squidge. So that is all from the three of us. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up and thumbs up for more videos with Charlie. And if you want Charlie to start his YouTube channel, then leave a red heart in the comment section because you'll well, no, leave, there. leave um leave one of these. Yeah. Because I, I like that. I use that. Okay, one. leave one of those things. Yeah, the emoji. If you want Charlie to start his own YouTube channel. Because we've nearly persuaded you, haven't we, darling? I am going to do it. I'm going to do it. We're, we're going to, I really want to do a day in the life of Dexter video as well. Because yes. I think people need to know what Dexter gets up to. He has a three Actually, life. we need to know what he gets up to when we're not yeah. here. I think it's mostly <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> Probably. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye. Oh, he's visible. <laughs> he is the best dog in the world.